Hello everybody, it is Monday, the first week in our new home. <laughs> so we're getting there. Um, I've just literally just put the mattresses in the in the cots and just thought about where the cots are going to go. <laughs> so light up there, Timothy in there. Just thought, really thought about where the cots are going to go. What I need is Grumpy to make me another set of bunk beds <laughs> at some point. So this was for the littles. This is one for Timothy, one for Annie. Don't know which way around yet. And Frankie, you all right up there, Frankie? Sorry, you're so squished. And Emma Jane. And here's the shelving and I've still got stuff to come in. But um, I'll do that later when Grumps comes home. He's gone to work today, bless him. So um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to configure it really today. The those push chair, those push chairs, those cots are really, really good because of the wheels, so they're easily movable. So what I I might even move. I don't know because I've got the little table that I like to have the littles out to play. And putting the te putting the cots all against the wall is using up the best of them the best space um but i'm not sure if i might change it and put the little ones up there the big one up there and the little ones down there so i'm unsure yet i've just tried to shove as much stuff on the shelving as i can at the moment um and then sort it out from there because it's not just a nursery i had lots of crafting stuff as well um in that other room like um, not that I do a lot of crafting now so I did sort out loads and loads of it um but I do want to get back to doing my miniatures and stuff like that but first of all I have to get these babies settled because why they're unsettled I'm unsettled so that is the job for today well the job to start today <laughs> Because it's not going to be done today, but this is a start. And I'm taking it steady because I'm tired. So it is about half past 11 in the morning. I did get up early because I wasn't sure if any builders were going to come today. Nobody's come yet today. So I was up early and I've just really been just lazing around. Because obviously you need to rest as well. And just do what you can. Let's get going to it then.
no, Caroline, don't do it. I'm watching you now in the future while I'm editing this and I'm saying don't do it because that's a Christmas duvet. Cover, you're putting the Christmas duvet cover back on. What a waste of your time. Oh, you've just realised that you're putting the Christmas duvet on. That's right. Ugh. hate putting duvet covers on. Now we're going to put the right one on now. Both Emma Jane and Frankie have got the correct... Match, I've got the matching ones, I mean, not correct ones, but matching ones. With the rainbows and unicorns and happy dreamy thoughts before they go to bed. So that is, just look at Timothy there. Yay, bouncing around with Mr. Timothy. And now we're going to put the sheet on Annie's cot. Those sheets weren't that good, actually. I mean, they are really snug on those <laughs> mattresses even though they're supposed to be the same size I, I'm loving the wheels on those um, beds I can't remember what the beds are called um, and I probably bought them from Amazon or maybe didn't I don't know I'll try and remember to put it in the description but anyway look at her she's just powering on Doing all of this and little does she know that there's a lot of boxes to come back in yet. So she thinks she's getting everything all sorted. <laughs> now she's doing Harry and Heidi's little area there. Oh no, she's not. She's going to put on another duvet cover. Well done, lady. we go so far those duvet covers are Frankie's and Emma's James are having a matching so um because whatever Emma Jane has um, whatever Frankie has doesn't miss Emma Jane wants which isn't isn't that always the case with siblings so I'm just gonna finish up bringing a bit in and then that's it me done for now Okay, so that's what you've just seen me do. And that will be it, I think, now for today. As long as the babies have got their beds, which they have. This is Heidi. Heidi, Harry, Flick, Timothy, Annie, Frankie and Emma Jane. And... Okay, it's Sunday, so I just thought I'd show you the nursery <laughs> today. Just so, so you get a better idea of what I'm um, talking about. Here are my shelving. So I'm missing some shelving. So there weren't um, enough ordered. So they were. there's a delay on them now. Um, doesn't matter, it will come. There's um, 
hanging rail there and there's a hanging rail under there which we will get to eventually and here we go and we've had to move stuff out so that Russ can um, work on the heating. We're, me and Russ we're not used to underfloor heating, we're not used to heating systems like this, Russ has put them in but we had night storage heaters and the log burner at the nook because we only had electric heating there, we didn't have any gas um, so we've had underfloor heating put here, but it doesn't seem to be working as efficiently. So the underfloor heating block is in the nursery. Here's the things. It's got a thing that slots in front of it so that obviously I can put stuff there, but stuff that will be easy to be able to renew, remove if we ever need to get to it again. So it is the 8th, I think, today, 7th or the 8th of March. So, poor Timothy, don't move Timothy. <laughs> Good job there are only dolls, folks, hey? Harry and Heidi. We can't get to Annie's bed, so she's up here playing with Frankie. And, um, yes. So, things are kind of everywhere at the moment. And that is why it, my brain it has been feeling quite down this week. Russ is going to make me a nice big shelf up there for my um, for my display dolls. So I have lots of dolls that are in boxes and things that I like to keep out on display. So he's going to make something out of a piece of oak for there. He, he loves doing all that sort of stuff, as you know, because if you're a regular viewer, because he made my bunk beds and he made Annie's little bed that has got no room to go in here so I was going to take it to the um, recycling centre but I can't bear a part of it so it's in my van. <laughs> the bunk beds are going to stay here and I think the bedding is going to stay there because then it'll be easy for me to get to all of this. And I've got some shelving, two sets of shelving here. They make little cubby shelving to go here and here. And Russ will make them and put them up, but once I'm ready, and it'll probably be next weekend now. So, um, yeah, so that's why I have been a little bit down this week about my room. Please, just, please, please, please don't get me wrong. I absolutely am so lucky to have this. I absolutely know that, appreciate that, and completely understand Um. But when I envisioned this, um, the shelving was n nowhere near as big as this or as deep as this. And I was going to be able to have a little table on the end where I could do my crafting and things that I also love to do. I like to make miniatures. My doll's house got broken in the move as well. So that was upsetting. Um, I've still got Nana Roses, but I don't have my big doll's house anymore. <laughs> that was another thing that was upsetting. And not only that... Um, Russ has a humongous man cave, which is bigger than the bungalow. Um, it's a six, you could fit six cars in Russ's man cave. And it's got like so much of his stuff in it. I mean, he's out there now doing stuff out there. Um, and I'm not, you know, he uh, he works hard. He deserves it. He earned it. Fair play to him. You know, this is what we, we have work, been working towards. And... Um, so yeah, this is why I've been a little bit disappointed and I'm going to tag this along. This is Sunday the 8th. I'm going to tag, or the 7th, but I do think it's the 8th <laughs> and I can't check because I'm videoing this on my phone, so I can't check. So there's some more bits there, look. And yeah, tag that on to um, Tuesday's Tidy Up Tuesday video. Um, and then I will do next week at some point, I will do a coffee and a chat because I want to talk about their, the kind of like things that ideas that we have throwing around so that we can both have, you know, I can have a decent sized room to play in as well. Um, and there we go. Frankie has been a brilliant big sister sharing all her littles yeah Frankie I do have a tray you're right I have bought Frankie a tray 
like with a soft bottom underneath it so you can just rest it on your lap and you can play with your little things on that and then it's flat Yes, I will find that out for you, Frankie. Um, I just but thank you very much for watching. And there it is. Go it is ongoing pro progress for this room, I guess. But the rest of the house is almost complete now. Um, there's just a few odd things that need to be finished off by the builder. So I'll take you around um, later in the week at some point and show you those. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for all your supportive comments. I really do appreciate them. Um, uh, moving is hard for anybody, let alone with somebody with multiple personality disorder like me. Urgh! And, uh, so, and all the things that go with that. Um, so I absolutely am extremely grateful and fortunate and blessed. And I, and I, and I do truly, truly do believe that, but that doesn't stop me from being able to be allowed to be a bit disappointed either. But anyway, I hope you're all well. Stay safe. Things are going to start um, easing up this week. So, yeah, it must be the 8th today because I think from the 9th of March, your children go back to school here in England and you're allowed to start meeting one other person outside for your exercise and to have a coffee or something like that every day. So not a group of you, just one person. So that means I can meet up with one of my daughters this week. So that would be great. That will help me a lot. They haven't even been able to come and see the house for ages. So they haven't even seen the bungalow finish. So we'll be looking forward to that later in the year when they can come and see the bungalow finished. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show you a bit more of the bungalow update uh, later this week. And I will be doing a coffee and a chat for you as well. So thanks very much for watching. Bye everyone.